So I'm going to build my own home cockpit. Something that in the end should be looking something equivalent to this with a lot of wires on the back. And to start off, I have to make the decision whether I'm going for the old and classic Boeing 737 or whether I'm going for the modern Airbus A320. So I ask you guys, which one should I go for? And you were very clear that it was going to be the Airbus A320. So I went for it. And as you can see here, the overhead panels, the right Airbus A320 overhead panel looks way less complex. Uh, the uh, Boeing 737 overhead panel has way more gauges and stuff, which is way harder to make. So uh, let's go for the Airbus A320. Fortunately, the team of Phoenix Designs have made a beautiful A320, which is study level and looks absolutely stunning. And that is the plane I'm going to build this cockpit for. But there is one question. How? How am I ever going to build something which comes clo even close to this. For this we'll need a lot of buttons, an Arduino to link all those buttons up to the PC and the aircraft, a screen for displays and stuff, and most importantly a pile of wood because we need a big frame. And luckily I have a 3D printer to my possession, uh, which I can use to design and print a lot of things. For example, here you see part of the Boeing 737 cockpit and all those things I can, in theory, 3D print. Also, I have some experience creating a button or light switch box thingy, which looks very realistic as if it come from a Cessna. And here I learned the basics with an Arduino soldering and how to wire up those buttons. So I have some experience. So let's go and build a home cockpit. So now I will show you what things I have in my possession which I am going to use. First of all, this screen I will be using for the displays and this is the, the big ultra wide screen I will use to run the simulator. Then I have this honeycomb throttle and I was smart enough to drop this thing so the trim wheel broke off. Uh, so I have a throttle without a trim wheel. And lastly, I have a A320 side stick, which should come in very useful. But without further ado, let's just start doing something. And I started designing. Here you can see a part of a cockpit with a screen behind it. And the screen will be for the primary flight, for the, for the primary flight display, PFD, and the navigation display. And here you see a lot of shapes and boxes, which should in the end contain almost... Uh, all buttons and stuff, but it doesn't really look very uh, A320-ish. So instead of designing, I thought just why not print something and get an idea how it actually looks in real life. So I designed and printed with my beautiful 3D printer. And at night it was still printing a couple of hours later. And as you can see, it's almost done. And it, uh, it was quite big to my surprise. And here you can see it finished. This is a nice frame for the PFD. And uh, it uh, fits very nicely into the, uh, the leftover screen I had. So great. Here you can see it with the Boeing 737. It uh, has a nice uh, size and it uh, fits exactly, which is great. Here I printed another one and as you can see, they fit perfectly together in the old screen. So stage one is kind of completed. So I started with something else and I just thought, why not make a Master Caution Firearm panel from the Boeing 737. So here I bought some files online and I had a look around and I thought uh, what I'm going to do with it and of course I started to 3D print again. By 3D printing I get a very nice impression of how it will in the end look so why not just start printing and then continue with the rest. So here it is the frame uh, in which uh, the six pack, the fire warn and the master caution panel uh, will be placed in the end. It came out uh, great to my surprise, of course, exactly to the millimeter, which is amazing. But with this box, I cannot do a lot. So I just started to design and print again. I put those fi these files on this beautiful SD card and I started printing. So I printed everything, but then when I test fitted it, I destroyed everything. Of course, 3D prints are strong, but not very strong enough. So in my mental breakdown, I bought uh, some buttons, some LED lights, some wiring in Arduino to actually do something. Because uh, up until now, I only had 3D printed parts with which you can do a lot, but definitely not uh, enough. So here are all my purchases. And as you can see, the LED lights are working, which is great. I played around with them and... Uh, 
this got me some new inspiration. So then I 3D printed all the parts again. And now I have all materials to start and build this panel. As you can see right here, the lead fits in very nicely. And uh, here uh, the uh, boxes go into the big frame. So then here um, is how one uh, looks version one, two LED lights with a button below them, a few wires sticking out. And uh, yeah, this is it really. It's, it's not very complicated to me, just two LEDs and uh, wires for a button. Here I did it again on the other side with the, with the yellow lights and uh, they click nicely, even though you cannot hear it. And here I wired everything up to the Arduino and I uh, installed MobiFlight, which is a program I use to uh, link the, the, the buttons to the simulator. So here you can see MobiFlight. And here I'm in the PMDG 737. And when I click the uh, six pack, there are buttons lighting up both in the aircraft and on my desk. So everything works, which was very good news for me. So, and I got the confirmation that I actually can build something, but I wasn't quite happy yet with this design. As you can see, the button is on there, but it's not placed very neatly and nicely. Um, so I had the idea uh, of designing something else, new and better. So here it is. As you can see, it's again a box and then there is a gap underneath which will fit the button exactly. So I started printing it and I uh, tried to get it off my printer. Here we go. And it came out perfectly, exactly to the millimeter. I removed the support, which is always very satisfying. Here it is, the box with the two holes for LEDs and the gap for the push button. And I poked out the holes with a screwdriver as the holes aren't very uh, perfect when 3D printing. And then I wired them up again and as you can see, they work. Great news. And then I continued on with the six pack, which will contain 12 LED lights and one push button. So I started up with connecting all the lights. And as you can see right here, a lot of resistors sticking out of the back, but all lights have been connected to the Arduino and to MobiFlight. And as you can see, they work or except for two, they work. So that was great. Uh, the only thing left was to fix those two lights, maybe check the wiring and make a nice cover so they are actually good. So it actually looks like a, a fire one and six pack panel. But I first uh, fixed those cables. But um, this is a fire one master caution panel for the Boeing 737. And I'm going to build a Airbus A320 home cockpit. And this is the fire warn panel for an Airbus A320. And that doesn't really look like what I have built. So I'm going to have to start again or kind of again. But I did learn something because I learned how to build a warn panel for the 737. I learned how to use Moe Flight with which I connect the Arduino and the buttons to the flight sim. And I learned how to make an important decision way too late because we're building an A320 cockpit and not the 737. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Next time I am going to build an Airbus A320 cockpit part. I would very much like it if you subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time building an A320 home cockpit.